Hey folks, Elena Strongbow from Shroud of the Avatar. I'm over here in Nightshade Pass. Um, it's just south and to the west of Brittany. It's one of the paths you have to get through. Not too many um, difficult guys, mostly green to me, archers and thugs and stuff on both sides. There's a troll in a big area down to the right of that lake. Also up this path, coming in here, it's kind of to the southwest is where the fire elemental is. So if someone's looking to get the fire elemental quest, you probably have to go there and kill that one. Um, probably want a little bit of a party. Not that it, not that easy to do. Usually there's more thugs and stuff, but it looks like this person's gone through and has, actually this is Scarface. This Scarface is another lunar dragon. I'll tell him a quick hi. So what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to run down here. You see this big lake. This whole thing about what I want to do right now is about fishing. You know, how to do it and how to do it. Uh, oh, that bear just tagged me. That's all right. I'll get close. See if I can get myself up. Get him out of here. All right. I'm in the water. You can't touch me. So... Fishing is a non-combat skill, so you got to be out of um, out of combat mode to do this. Um, need a fishing pole. You see here, I actually have a uh, fishing rod of prosperity, so um, plus three on critical success. But the big thing about the prosperity is that they don't wear out, so they're all 100. I've got the full set. Um, I bought them really early in the game before they went uh, bat crazy now, since they're not available for add-on store purchase. But these things never run out. I just never wanted to deal with that, and I just took advantage of it. You can make tools. Um, just be careful. They'll wear out. So you got to have some worms. And I've got uh, almost 400 worms here. So I, you know, you put the actual skill on your uh, deck down here. You do that by going over your craft, actually crafting, fishing. You can take and drag this down onto your deck. Um, I'm 73 in fishing. I'm also was working on bait recovery. Sometimes you don't waste a bait. It's one bait per fish. So you can come out in any one of the waters and you can try and fish. If you see a green circle, it's good. The higher your skill, the farther out you can cast. Um, I'm going to see what's pop one right here. It's telling me I got a 67% chance. So while this is going, if I catch something, it'll finish up quickly and say I got it. Most of the times you're going to catch a bass, a salmon, um, you may cast some broken cloth items or some leather items, gloves, a helm or something on there. But that's about it. You notice that there's these bubbles out here. These bubbles are a little uh, visual marker that there's something interesting out there. What have I found so far? Oh, my skill went up to, uh, looks like it went up to 74. And I got a leather helm. Let me get my light back up on here. So that was a good round. So I got a leather helm. Uh, it's not going to wear that armor, but I'll just take it home and scrap it. Um, the big difference about the uh, about these bubbly air is that you can end up getting a trout instead of a salmon or a bass. Uh, you know, from a cooking perspective, it's probably better. I've got a 71% chance to see what I get here. He was saying thanks. He was watching one of the videos and um, said thanks on it. Let him know I'm filming one right now. So it came back in. You can see down here on the bottom line, I actually got one trout. So you can get a different kind of fish. I'm sure the trouts are better in the recipes or not. What I'm trying to look for, and I'm not going to do it on here, is that they've introduced artifacts into the game. Um, I do have one on me, I believe. Let's see. This is the Slipshod uh, Shooter Sash. This is one that I actually purchased from someone. It's a sash that if I wear will give me t plus 10 on multi-shot damage and plus 10 on rapid fire for my archery. It, I take a massive hit on my ammo, ammo scavenger, but that's okay. I'll burn through arrows. I'm, I'm fine with that. They're, they're inexpensive. But this is a cool artifact. There are two artifacts you can get from fishing. Now, I'm assuming that you need to get them in, a, in an adventure area. This is level 3. Um... So you, starting at a level three, four, or five, you know, if you're a, a newer player, it's going to be hard to get into those areas. But you can try and run past the monsters and get into the lake like I did here until I've got all these 
there's bears and whatnot around here. They're not bothering me. But you want to get into these areas. You want to fish, fish, fish. And I'm sure there's probably some factor on your skill level fishing. So I'm at 74. I'm getting up there. So um, I've been fishing around, fishing around, trying to get myself uh, to find one of these artifacts. So um, just makes it a little bit more interesting. I know they're going to do more with fishing as the game goes on. But um, yeah, that's basically how you fish. Get some worms, get a rod, get to a lake, cast out. If it's green, that means you can cast. There, I got 59 and have fun doing it. Um, it's very uh, mind-numbing. But, um, ooh, I got some cloth gloves and uh, a little bit more probably on my skill on there. Um, you know, I'm hoping at some point we can start seeing more of these artifacts or something and maybe catch something interesting. So, um, if you're in an adventure level, there's a water, try and fish. That's just something you can do there. Just another interesting aspect of the game, one of the game mechanics other than, um, other than just running around shooting and killing stuff. There is off to the right here. This huge area that you can go up to. You had to get past the troll, then get up there. There's little tons of skeletons and stuff. So this is Nightshade Pass. Good place for fishing. Good place for adventuring, um, gathering. There are some trees, lots of bears and wolves and stuff, so you can get some animal hides and stuff. So that was it. Hope you enjoyed it. If, um, if you can give me a subscribe on the channel, that'd be awesome. If you like the video, um, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Um, comment on it if there's anything. I know I'm one of those people that says um too much. And if you want to see the other videos, just search for Soda Tutorials in YouTube, or you can go to sodatutorials.com, and all, those, all the videos are listed up there, and along with some other information about the game. Thanks. Have a good one.